I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. You've got to be kidding me. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. In this video, what we're going to be doing is trying to troubleshoot why our Echo Dot here is not having an internet connection. Now I know in my particular situation that my Echo Dot has been connected and set up and working. I also know that my Wi-Fi has not changed, so there's no reason really why my Echo Dot should not be working. So there are basically seven different things that we can do to troubleshoot our Alexa not connecting to Wi-Fi. So when I open up my Alexa app, it said that I could set up a new Echo Dot. Now I know that I already have set this up and I don't really wanna go through all the setup steps um, again. But the first troubleshooting step is number one, make sure that you have an internet connection in your house. I'm just going to show you how to do that using your cell phone and we go over to our settings and we go to cellular and we just turn off cellular data turn that off now basically i cannot use my phone provider's internet to access anything now i'll go into google chrome and make sure that it actually does open up a web page so now you can see that it does open up a web page and my internet is working on my phone. So I know that my Wi-Fi is working in my house because that's how my phone is connecting to the internet. So we know that's not the problem. The other thing is you want to be sure that your Echo Dot is within range. So if it's very far away from your Wi-Fi, you may try to move it closer. Now, if you have two Echo Dots, what you'd wanna do is take this one and move it to where the other one is that's working non-stop and bring the other one in here that's working and see if you have the same problem with a different echo device that will tell you whether your wi-fi signal is strong enough to get to the location the next step to try is to basically if you have a ton of stuff connected to your wi-fi that you're not actually using you can just turn off the Wi-Fi on those devices. Another thing you do want to check is that if you're setting up your Echo device for the first time and it's not allowing you to connect to Wi-Fi, that you have your password correct. So maybe go onto another device and connect to your Wi-Fi using that password just to be sure that the password that you're entering is the correct password. So the fifth step that you can try is to restart your modem and router. So what you'd wanna do is just go over to your modem and router, unplug the power from the back of them, wait about five minutes, and then plug them back in. It will take maybe five minutes for them to completely start up, once you verify that you have internet, say on your phone through the Wi-Fi, then you can try your Echo device again, and hopefully the connection to Wi-Fi is now good. Now, if that doesn't work, what you would want to do is restart your Echo. So to restart your Echo, all you're going to do is unplug the power cord from the back, wait a few seconds, and plug it back in. So once it's plugged back in, it's going to go ahead and start up. And now we can test it again. So now we're going to say, Alexa, what's the weather going to be like today? In Myrtle Beach, it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 75 degrees. Mm -hmm and you can see that the restart did fix our echo device now if that restart of the echo device does not fix the problem what you'd want to do is a factory reset on your echo device so i have a, another video on how to do a factory reset on an echo dot third generation all you would need to do is follow that video 
and reset up everything all over again. So those are the seven troubleshooting steps to fix the Wi-Fi connection to your Echo device. I hope that one of those did help you. If you have any questions or have any problems, just leave a comment and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.